It is an object that's probably gotten more attention in the last few months than the entire time it's been in Allendale. A committee was formed to make a recommendation on its future. Weeks ago, they did just that. Tonight, the group in charge of the controversial Civil War statue ignored that recommendation. 39 Your Sides' Nate Belt has more on their decision. After hearing from people on both sides of the issue, the Allendale Township Board voted 5-2 to two in favor of keeping the Civil War statue in its place. Residents in favor of the statue argued it's a piece of history and it would be wrong to remove it. History isn't there for you to like or dislike. It's there for you to learn from it. If it offends you, that's even better because then you're less likely to repeat it. Well, those opposed pointed out the lack of diversity on the board when making their decision. I suspect this board has received little, if any, support from people of color for keeping the current statue in place. Truly disadvantaged people are unlikely to complain about political correctness. Last summer, the board voted to put together a committee to form a recommendation on the statue's future. The committee recommended removing the statue last month. Board member David Vanderwall said last year a recommendation would not change his mind that the statue should remain. My position has not changed on that. I truly believe that the majority of this community supports leaving the statue the way it is. Barb Vanderveen made a motion to move the statue into the Allendale Historical Society and out of the Memorial Garden. I feel like that's a compromise. We're keeping the statue and we're putting a context around it. That motion failed to carry. Vanderveen was joined by Adam Ellenboss in voting against keeping the statue in place. The decision comes after a full year of discussion amongst the town about what to do with the statue. Reporting in Allendale, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.